Welcome back to the life of my homestead. It is end of November. Let's do the garden tour. This morning it's really cold. Minus 4.1 Celsius again. Uh, November has been really cold. We did have quite a few frost and it's minus 5 degrees Celsius, minus 6 degrees Celsius, quite a few frosty. Yeah, win winter is here. So let's just see what's going on in the garden. Frosty ground. What I have got in the frosty ground. So that big patch of the squash area is now cleared. I took that sheet off and we just try we just mulch it. It's a huge area, so I need some time till I mulch it with straw, leftover compost, uh, old compost, new compost, uh, leaf mold, and whatever I found, then I will eventually cover it back for the winter. But yeah, the, the birds uh, enjoy whatever they find in there now. So in here we've got frozen sorrel, chard, that will that will bounce back after this minus four degrees Celsius. So soon the sun's up and temperature warms to plus degrees, these will be okay. The poached egg plant is quite uh, hardy, but these needs clearing out now. The calendula there that's dead. The snapdragon, I'm surprised, is quite hardy too. Red hot pork is looking great. So I've got two cauliflower to harvest. If you come closer, uh, you'll see the cauliflower there. It's frozen solid. So this is now, yeah, it's gonna be. I might have lost these two cauliflowers now. I should have, I should have uh, harvested earlier, but they weren't ready. So this is just, I, but I did have so much cauliflower this year. That's unbelievable. So yeah, that's finishing off. However, the lots of flowers are doing well, even though it's looked frozen solid. That will be absolutely fine. And the Savoy cabbage, it's gonna be good. Purple sprouting broccoli is laying on the ground. I need to somehow stem that up. That is just fine. That will produce early spring, some beautiful purple sprouting broccoli. Dogs are really trying to get in. Uh, I've got some allium. So in here, the flower area, I've got everything back now. All the gladiolis, I laid it on the ground. I'll leave it there. And this is just, yeah, I'm gonna mulch the top and uh, it just stays as it is now over the winter. The arch area is now also pretty much clear. All the beans gone. A little bit of a pain to take these off to clear, but every day I just uh, try to clear the arch really for next spring and just whatever I don't use, just drop it. I cut all the beans right so just an inch, a couple of inches above the ground, the stalks. So left, left, it, left it in, that will feed the soil all the top rest i just put it back as well the only one thing we've got in here left uh, spaghetti, two variety the misato rose which is white and pink inside and the black radish look so it's one each in here to show you and other side of the tunnel also we've got a row of radish and just a uh, just a mulch, you know, the mustachio, we had loads of mustachio in here, I just left it there. Frost killed it, it's gone, it's all gone now. So that's where we had the sweet corn, that's all cleared out. As well now, a few snapdragon hang on in here. Uh, the carnation, now really dying back. I've got a few sweet, middle row there, one lonely kohlrabi, uh, 
yeah, that's that's it now. It's uh, yeah, it's getting less and less. Yeah, it's flowering. Chard. I've got. Uh, what I've got in here? Lettuces. Kale. Garlic. Fennel. Lemon balm. Endive. Two rows of sweet. One row of. Swiss chard, two rows of parsnip. They will be all just fine. Uh, kale, a row of kale, garlic, and sweet again. So these will be the next few weeks, few months. I mean, I'm harvesting this. And we've got two rows of um, sorrel and three rows of leek. Some of some of them looking uh, very close to ready, so we see leek and potato soup very soon. We've cleared nice to cut back the herb herb garden. That is now been cut back and I've composted this in a big compost. The top it has been quite a lot of the mint and all sorts. I've got two rows of garlic here and some beetroot savoy cabbage that's okay I've got broccoli to harvest this is all right that needs to go out now to, to go to the chicken this broccoli is going to flower I like the purple sprouting broccoli that will be ready next spring oh the sun is coming up now we're not going to be able to see much and we've got two Brussels sprouts there. In here, we've got we had a row of red cabbages. I was actually quite chuffed with it. I've harvested five nice head this week. I've made sauerkraut. And I'm gonna freeze dry and just leave it in the fridge to use for the next couple of weeks. So that's really good. I've also have in here a couple of rows of celery yeah if you think for nearly december end of november it's still and it's considering it's freezing cold and it's frost still got a lot just a little thing to show you in here still got some goji berries look i really need to harvest this goji berries now and the fruit cage is finished then i'm gonna cut back all the raspberries the autumn chicken raspberries and just tie the up tidy up cutting back the berries and grapevines so let's let's have a look what's in the raised beds so we've got celery and celeria we have been uh, look we have been uh, using started to use the celeriac now we just made nice roast lamb roast and celeriac and potato so yes, yeah, mostly celery and celeriac. Next bed is the strawberry. I can't do much in the strawberry bed now. These two, all these three actually have been cut back and I left it on the top as a mulch. So the mullen has been here, the tansy, glow bar to choke. Yeah, few garlic poking, growing. And horseradish, horseradish and rhubarb. I've noticed in the rhubarb we had a few nice days. They've already started growing, poor thing. But oh look, that needs needs to put some more compost on it. And that muller needs to cut back. Um, asparagus. Now I've cut them all back and left it on the top. I've also noticed. Look, poor asparagus in here as well, so it's to grow already, it's too early. But yeah, it is cold today. <laughs> it's beautiful blue sky. 
look what uh, we had a very big storm and we lost loads of our trees they are all on the ground okay so this is the garden i think i've got a little time left time going to show you what's in the polytunnel some big changes in there as well in one month but yeah we've been so lucky in october we've not had frost in september or october our first frost was first week of november this year what is really good so frost is green Oh, they had their hair cut, look! <laughs> they look very pretty. I've got a few things actually in the potting shed as well, drawing, like chili, uh, lamb fleshes. I've got some garlic there, I need to uh, actually, it's very slippery. So, no, I just very reverse it this way. So, I've harvested all the okra. We had a nice bowl of oka this year. So that's the leftover that will go to the compost. That's where the oka has been. These little tubers. I just found one in here, tiny one. It's been eaten by a slug. Okay, so, yeah. The marigold now, yeah, it's gone. Got celery, a few brassicas, kale, lettuce, endive. Chard is doing great. So these are going to be my winter crops. This next bed in here, that's the ground cherry. Now because it did freeze in a green uh, polytunnel as well, we did have minus two, minus three, that killed the ground cherry. I've not had much success in the ground cherry this year. Lucy bear, no dig, remember? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that needs clearing out now. And just, I'm gonna put a few inches of compost back just to fill this raised bed for next spring. I might put actually onion in here as well. I've put uh, half of this bed where I've harvested the sweet potato. It wasn't a great sweet potato harvest. We did have some, but we would have had load, but I think we've never had a time to, to, to really get bigger, swell up the sweet potato. They are very skinny. I think the mice is uh, munching all these onions for me. I had loads of rows of onions from my last years. So the what last year has gone to seed and grow this year. But look, it's all been eaten by the mice. So that's no good. All right. Okay, I've got two rows of sorrel in here and chard. Behind you I've got some brassicas and kale and chard again sandy out and of this year's uh, i always leave a few onion go to seed and i just scatter it all over the place so all this this year's onions now grow in here you see so that's what happened last year what i've done and they managed to grow to this bulb so i planted it but yeah never mind last two beds we've got so all the tomatoes gone by end of October beginning of November and now I've still got lemon balm is doing okay with this uh, we had minus three degrees in here last night so uh, minus 2.8 degrees now I've got some cabbages and stuff growing see that yeah the, the nasturtium is gone the frost killed the nasturtium the charred lemon balm doing great and then here we've got a few onions left, leek, sorrel, ginger mint, and one celeriac. So, yeah, I've got a few things in a greenhouse, but I'll show you that at another time. So this is end of November, and winter is on its way. Bye-bye.